Got a hankering for some of that real good food that gets your stand bar and your health bar massive? But I'm going to show you how. Ladies and gentlemen, passports, sharpies, and printer cartridges, welcome to another Timo Redbeard video. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make the top five foods in Valheim currently now there is a hearth and home update coming soon and that's going to add more recipes we believe so this might change but for now these are the best five if you do like this video hit that like button consider subscribing and don't forget to caress that notification bell let's jump into it so the first item in our menu is a loaf of bread bread is a very very useful food because it only requires a single ingredient now it does require 10 of them and that is barley flour so how do you get barley flour well it begins with windmills you're going to need windmills to turn your barley into barley flour now if you don't know how to get barley then check the guide up at the top of your screen right now and that will show you how to get barley and also flax in Valheim however what you're going to do is you're going to take your barley from your barley farm and you're going to chuck it into the input slot of your windmill you're going to let some time pass and then from the output slot of your windmill you're going to find some beautiful beautiful barley flour then it's a simple case of just using 10 barley flour in the cauldron to make yourself a loaf of bread simple the next item on our menu is, of course, blood pudding. And to make blood pudding, you're going to need blood bags from leeches in the swamp, thistle, which you can find in the swamp and in the black forest, and of course, barley flour, which we've already gone over how to make. Combine those three things in the cauldron and you've got yourself some blood pudding. Now onto the three best foods in Valheim for sure, starting with serpent stew. To make serpent stew, you're going to need serpent meat, cook it and combine it with mushrooms and honey now to get honey you're going to need beehives and if you don't know how to make beehives then what you need to do is you need to head around the meadows biome and you need to look for beehives in buildings you will find broken down buildings in villages or by themselves and if you have a quick look you might find a beehive hanging up in one of the back walls you want to shoot it down sit back wait for the bees to leave and then go and grab the queen bee and then with the queen bee you can craft your own beehives back at your base and then of course once you have your own beehives if you wait for a while they'll start producing their own honey to get mushrooms you just need to go find them in the meadows sometimes in the black forest too nothing more to it than that now for the sea serpent the easiest way to get sea serpent meat is if you're in a group however it is doable solo my recommendation to you is to use a harpoon trick and that is that you go out sailing with a harpoon and when you find a sea serpent you harpoon it then you get back into the pilot seat of the boat and you sail towards land this will drag the serpent to land and then you can hop off onto the shore and pull the serpent up onto the shore with you at that point it becomes relatively harmless and you can plink it with bows or you can even go in and melee it to death and then you'll get access to your serpent meat and you will also get serpent scales which are used for some late game equipment now to make the stew you're going to want to cook the serpent meat on the fire and then once it's cooked you're going to want to combine it with the mushrooms and the honey in the cauldron and get yourself a delicious serpent stew The next thing on the menu is of course fish wraps and to make fish wraps you're going to need fish and you're going to need barley flour. Now to get fish you're going to need to get the fishing rod and fishing bait from Haldor the trader. If you haven't found your trader yet, easiest way I found is to sail a big circle around the very edge of the map. He often spawns very regularly right on the outer edges. But once you have got your fishing rod and your fishing bait then you're going to want to find a nice bit of shoreline with a nice abundance of fish now i personally chuck some bait into the water just you know a little bit of bait into the water that floats there separately 
I feel like it definitely attracts more fish, but it may just be confirmation bias, and I don't know. However, what you're going to want to do is chuck your fishing rod into the water, and you're going to wait until it bobs. And as soon as you see it pull down very sharply in a bob with some ripples, you want to hold right click, and that's going to start dragging in. And don't let go of right click. Just keep holding it down and keep bringing the fish in and in and in. Make sure there isn't a surface between you and the water that's going to stop the fish. If the fish gets caught on something and you try and pull it, it's going to snap the line. Otherwise, it's nice and easy. Grab your fish, take it over to the fire, give it a cook, and then combine it with the barley flour that I've explained how to make previously in the cauldron for some delicious fish wraps. And the last, but by absolutely no means least item on our menu, lox meat pie. You're going to need yourself some lox meat. You're going to cook it up and you're going to combine it with some cloud berries and some barley flour. So to get lox meat, you're going to need to kill some lox. Lox can be found in the plains biome, which of course is a dangerous place. So make sure that you're careful and that you're prepared when you're going in there. Now, to kill a lox, the easiest way to do it is with a ranged weapon. Especially a draugafang that's been teared up and frost arrows you're gonna hold them in place and you're just gonna destroy their health bar really really quickly and then you can get yourself some meat you can go in melee but be careful locks hit hard once you've got your locks meat you're gonna need some cloud berries they can also be found in the plains biome and they're scattered around in bushes and they look like cream crinkly wrinkly berries uh, and they're pretty easy to spot and of course, the last thing you're going to need is barley flour, which we've already explained earlier on in this video. And once you've got your lox meat cooked up, you just take it over to the cauldron with the cloud berries and the barley flour, and you make yourself a lox meat pie. Gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and don't forget to caress that notification bell. I do stream on Twitch from Tuesday through to Saturday, starting at 12 p.m. GMT. I would love to catch you there. Link is in the description. Also in the description is the Patreon. If you'd like to su support me further, I'd really appreciate it. Please do check it out. Also join the Discord in the description below, and there you will find a fantastic community that you can become a part of. For now, though, I've been Timo Redbeard. Peace out. Take care.